In making my way through the beginner decks and cards, I found one combo that I think I can safely call my favorite so far. We're going to take a look at it in a playthrough today on Legendary Tactics. Now this deck is actually a Soviet deck um, with Japanese cards mixed in. And I wasn't sure how it was going to play um, as, it's, as it sits. I'm up against uh, uh, another uh, Soviet uh, deck here, but um, it, uh, it seems like it's going to be a you know, a great combination. So in my opening hand, of course, I want to get rid of uh, the uh, high uh, cost cards. Um, you want to try and have uh, some lower ones, obviously, in the early going, so you can uh, get some forces out there early, even if they're not the most effective. And it looks like I'm up against a combo Russian-British uh, uh, deck here. So good to know. And uh, so... Very easy play, especially if I love it when you have a progression like one credit, two credit, three credit, four credit. It's uh, it may not actually play out that way, but it's nice to know that you've got at least one card to play every single turn, and it's not gonna, um, you know, you know, you're not gonna be stuck with uh, leftover credits at a, at a point when you really need to um, get some forces out. That said, if usually in the early game, the forces that are coming, uh, at you are, are going to be generally fairly weak as well it's a, it's very i think it's very, pretty hard to fall behind drastically in the early game um but certainly momentum can be a factor and uh, the enemy can uh get some momentum uh on you and and put the pressure on you um so uh, i think that that uh, it, it is worth um trying to keep the the momentum at least keep it neutral if nothing else you, you may not have any units in on the front line yet but um, it's fine that's fine just uh, you know take the time build up your support line and move forward when you feel the opportunity is is right so um, I, I have a actually a really nice mix here I can only play kind of one unit per uh, turn at the moment but I really kind of like that uh, spread of uh, you know values there I think that there's a good mix of units and uh, so far uh, you know again I put this deck together um, I think I, I just went for uh, the what I consider to be the best uh, cards that available from both sides but uh, my, my general strategy so far when putting together a deck is to buy all or almost all of the high values cards a lot of the low value card and then fill in the middle um, I don't know if that's the best strategy, but I think generally speaking, um, you want to have a nice even spread uh, between all the different cards. The, the lower value cards are amazing to uh, make change uh, if you need to uh, spend a credit or two and you don't want to, uh, uh, you know, waste them. So having some low uh, cost cards in hand can be nice for that, uh, just to make sure you get full value out of the credits. So looks like we're up against the uh, the Russian uh, aggro deck, I think it's been called, and the, or the, the rush deck, or whatever gets these uh, one ones uh, on, on the table quickly and then looks to boost them. But I'm going to uh, uh, take advantage here, um, take one out. I don't know what exactly the composition of my opponent's deck is, so I'd better be a little bit careful um just in case and so i could have uh taken out a, a stronger the stronger unit there but i'm going to uh wait and see a little bit on what uh, what, uh he's up to and of course he blows uh blows my great unit out of the sky um, and it does uh some advancing and uh, adding a lot more light infantry uh to it to hand um so Obviously, it's a very similar deck to the uh, one that I posted in my last video. Um, it's it's an interesting strategy, and I imagine it it can work, um, especially if the the that deck can win fast. I think a lot of everything has to hit quickly and uh, before uh, your opponent gets up to speed. But I feel that, I, to be honest, that I've got a lot going for me so far in terms of uh, getting up to, to speed. I don't see a lot of momentum building uh, on my opponent's part. I see a lot of momentum building on my part. Getting a 5-5 five, five down this early is, I think, uh, 
That's <laughs> if I were playing his uh, the opponent's side, I would be uh, a bit worried. But hey, plays a convoy, gets some card draw, more light infantry uh, in hand, uh, and uh, the last uh, game I posted, uh, I had no cards in hand. This time I feel quite wealthy. I've got a lot of options, lots of cards to choose from, um, and so I don't feel under pressure. Those one ones, unless they're boosted, they're they're not of much threat. Even if they tried to hammer the HQ, uh, they wouldn't be able to. And putting down a card with guard there means that it's uh, it's going to protect the uh, the other units. Um, you know, basically on either side. So, um, yes, that plane uh, that it, uh, my opponent has can attack my HQ, but um, but otherwise, um, that weak unit's going to absorb three damage before um, any unit can get to the uh, the better ones. So, kind of like that idea. The guard uh, capability in this uh, in this game in general. Um, great strategy involved. I, I wonder sometimes if it might be overpowered in a sense, especially if you get a, a really great uh, guard up with uh, a lot of hit points. It can be pretty uh, hard to break through that. So, um, yeah, so we uh, get the uh, the ability to heal that unit at the, be at the beginning of your turn, which is great. Um, that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, I've got another... Uh, Good, strong air unit. Um, but overall, um, I mean, I'm running out of spot on my support line. It's the only uh, reason to advance. I don't feel I'm, I'm under any pressure. Obviously, um, my opponent has some uh, options, and that's actually a perfect example of a play where you have one credit left, and uh, it's better to get a unit down uh, and uh, then waste waste the credit. So um, I think the uh, the ambush feature as well came in very handy there. Um, so uh, did not I I don't know exactly why that attack was was done. I think that there was probably a better way to do that. But anyway, um, so now you can see even early on it just feels like I am in control. There's really no opposition, and it's probably just my opponent's deck is not as uh as as strong as mine but it, i'm it's not like i'm playing with any uh you know <laughs> you know high priced cards or anything you know i'm i'm i've played some games i've added some cards to the collection but i can't say that i'm uh particularly uh i, I don't have any of the specialty card or a lot of the specialty cards yet or anything so but in this game so far i mean it's uh I've got the uh, enemy HQ down to 11 already, and it just feels like this uh, this game is uh, is just getting started. And really, um, my opponent doesn't have a lot of firepower at this at this point. <laughs> that was a, a waste, I think. But anyway, um, I, I don't think my opponent has any uh, real strength to. I mean, that one tank in in the in the front line is causing a whole mess of uh, mess of trouble so um, at the moment the the guard is the only thing that's holding uh, holding me back from essentially uh, decimating uh, his HQ so um, but we'll see uh, you never know uh, and perhaps I'm, I'm playing a beginner I, I don't know for sure um, my rank is not that high yet so it's very possible um, and it's uh, it's something that uh, you know, sometimes with these games, sometimes, you know, you're playing a newer person. Uh, you don't know what their uh, their skill level is at. So I don't want to uh, mock anyone. Uh, maybe it's just the, the deck that they went with. And they're trying something out. Who knows? But uh, but in this particular case, I just see a lot of great synergies uh, between the, the Japanese cards and the Russian uh, cards. Uh, I quite like the Russian um faction as well it's quite uh it's quite entertaining to play i think they got a lot of neat abilities and uh i think it's uh it's if played well there's a lot of uh, potential with that so again there's really there's you know boosting some strength there but really i don't see a lot of threat yet um, now my opponent's down to a couple cards one card in hand. I have some pretty decent 
cards in hand. And it's really, uh, I think, you know, uh, the, the game is certainly in my control. Um, and, uh, but he has some card draw. That's all right. That's, uh, that's good to know. But uh, we're going to see. Okay, so we've got, yeah, so we've got 11 to spend. Um, so we could drop uh, two cards at least and do some advancing and so forth. Or uh, we'll do the bloody sickle. It sort of opens up the, uh, the front line uh, for movement, gets us an extra card. Uh, this card as well can help us to uh, take out another unit. And I'm a, I'm a big fan in this game of making sure that I have numerically... It's not enough to have strong units, but I think it's also uh, much more uh, powerful and important to have numerically more cards down on the table. Even if they're not as strong, they, they give you options. Uh, you can... Uh, uh, you know, set up uh, combos uh, easy more easily. Um, I think the strong units are great, but I, I wouldn't sacrifice. Uh, you know, just having a few two strong units on the on the on the board when I could have a uh, a diverse uh, set of of cards to uh, to you know build a a coordinated coordinated attack with. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, as we look again, there just seems to be no real strong cards coming out of the uh, of my opponent's deck. They're all one ones, one threes. Uh, you know, that's not it's not going to turn the tide. If the two two seven is your best option, it really is not <laughs> that impressive. So it's because it's not only the fact that they are weak on attack, but it, weak on defense. Because if you look here, this attack, yeah, I, I took, I did five damage, and it was maybe a bit of overkill, but but I only took one damage, and so you're not, if if you don't have the combat strength this in this game, it, the combat strength really cuts two ways. It cuts uh, offensively, but also defensively in this game, and so you really need to make sure that you uh, have, that you have uh, some. Um, some decently strong units uh, in your in your game because otherwise it's just it's just not going to uh, to do much. You see there again that one unit, even though it had three hit points, health points, whatever uh, armor points, it it took out two units of the enemy, and that's it really that unit should not live that long, but it uh, um, but it's doing just fine, and in fact it. it did a heck of a lot of damage for just that one unit and uh, the one thing I do like about my opponent's uh, deck that I've seen is very good card draw which uh, again is I think very valuable in uh, in this game in because as in general not only is it the cards on the table but the cards in hand that determine who's who's winning who has the advantage and those cards all represent options and as I play a little bit more, I really am realizing there's a lot of value to just keeping units alive, even if they're not strong um, or what have you. Again, it's just options. You can uh, arrange your, your gameplay uh, around the cards that you have, and you don't have to, um, <clears throat> you don't have to uh, hesitate in a lot of cases to, uh, you know, to figure it. A lot of times you're just trying to figure out how best to spend your credits as opposed to, can I even spend all these credits? Um, so you can see, with one card in hand, my opponent has 12 credits to spend, only three cards on the board, none of which use uh, sp spending a one, uh, one credit to force my zero to retreat. You know, not, not a lot. He's, there's a lot of credits left on the table with my opponent's uh, deck. I don't know what the strategy was, but it just seems like there's no, either it's really bad, card draw or there really wasn't uh, any strong units on the board and I polish polish off uh, uh, my opponent quite easily so anyway I hope you that gave you a, an idea of how uh, how neat the Soviet uh, deck can can play especially with uh, when it's complemented by some of the Japanese cards so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed this video and maybe got some good ideas from it Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here next time on Legendary Tactics.